After we've got data on Google SQL Database, we're definitely going to want to be able to create masking for those databases, the same as we would for any other database. So let's take a look at how we'd go about doing that. Obviously, we're going to have to connect up to the right server. And let's see if it can see the databases. And it can. So let's assume that we're going to uh, mask the dev database. Now we're going to look for the schemas, of course, as normal, and we'll connect up. It's going to fetch everything from the database itself. And then what we've got here is a pretty standard looking masking set. So let's go ahead and add a rule. And we'll ask, we'll do a substitution rule, nice and simple. And we'll choose um, which tables and stuff we want to run it on. Um, let's assume for just purposes of our example that the radio name field needs to be masked. So we're going to go in here and find our data sets and take a look through and figure out what might be a good data set for radio name. Um, probably, well, let's just go with occupations. Why not? And that's going to be our masking set. Now, the things you should note are it's able to recognize my schema and look through and see all the tables. And as we pick any given table, it can see the data types of those tables. So all the stuff that we're used to seeing in terms of what this stuff is doing, um, it's able to do. So let's create the substitution rule. We're not going to add another one right now because just adding more and more would just show the tool off more than showing it off with Google SQL Database. The real thing is, is can we take a run? Can we run the masking set? Can we make it modify our existing data onto the Google SQL Database Cloud platform? Well, let's find out. Yes, run the rules now. So it's connecting up to the server. It's running the masking set, which means it's going through and disabling any triggers, if we have any. And then it ran the masking set. And so now you can see we're actually completed successfully. Let's go ahead and switch over to Management Studio and take a look at our dev database. So what we'll do is we'll run a new query against that. And we will retrieve from the radio. And let's just see what our names look like now. And the results are in. And sure enough, our radio names now look like occupations. So we were able to completely change the data through SQL Data Masker. So that means that SQL Data Masker is in fact ready to run against Google SQL Database. Now you're probably going to occasionally hit some issues with system level triggers or system level settings. But overall, almost every single rule that you're going to be able to run, all the normal data columns, all the normal behaviors are going to be built right into Data Masker. So it is ready to go for you in Google SQL Database. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. My name is Grant Fritchie. I work for Redgate Software.